peace be with you in the mighty name of Lord Jesus Christ, Yeshua Messiah. The message for this new year 2022 is that Yahuwah God is the God of peace, future and hope, Allah is a man given title not spoken by himself. For I know the purposes which I am planning for you, says Yahuwah, purposes of peace, and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. Unquote Hebraic Roots Bible Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11 While COVID-19 pandemic is not yet over but has spilled over to year 2022, we have to continue to trust Yahuwah God that he has the thoughts of peace, future and hope towards his sons and daughters in this world. There is nothing to fear of death due to COVID-19 variant viruses such as Delta and Omicron. As Apostle Paul wrote to the Philippians, for Messiah is my life, and to die is gain. Unquote Philippians chapter 1 verse 21. What Apostle Paul meant by to die is gain. To the non-Christians, once a person dies, he or she has no more consciousness of the fears, pains and sufferings in this physical world. But Apostle Paul had expressed himself well in the subsequent verses, For I am torn together by the two, having a desire to depart and be with Messiah, which is far better but to remain in the flesh, is more necessary on account of you. Unquote my prayers for every one of you is that you will make full use of this Positron channel, to learn as much as possible on the difference between Lord Yeshua Messiah and Muhammad who has been widely mistaken as the last prophet of God Almighty. If a Muslim asks me where is the proof that Muhammad is not the last prophet of God, the obvious answer is based on the missing name of God in the Quran. Muslims may be quick to defend by quoting from any three verses in the Quran which reads, Verily I am Allah such as, Quran chapter 20 verse 14, chapter 27 verse 9, and chapter 28 verse 30. But Quran itself has clarified that the aforesaid phrase, I am Allah, is based on the story of Moses stated in Quran chapter 20 verse 9 has the story of Moses reached thee? Unquote however, the bad translation and plagiarism shall obviously exposed by cross-reference to the Hebrew scripture of Exodus chapter 3 from verses 1 to 7. Reason number 1, Muhammad who lived around 600 AD, did not know and come to reveal the name of God as revealed to Prophet Moses around 1446 before Common Era. The Hebrew name of God has been kept in secret by the Mesoretic scribes using four Hebrew letters, as yod hey u -ah -hey since 290 BC. According to the Jewish Encyclopedia 1901 version, and the Babylonian Talmud, after the death of Simeon the Just, 290 before Common Era, the Jews stopped pronouncing the holy name of Yahuwah. I personally prefer to pronounce the name of God as Yahuwah and not Yahweh, because Hebrew names like Malthuselah, Noah, and Puah, which are ending with a h instead of eh, as derived from hey. The two Hebrew words Yahuwah Elohim contain both name, Yahuwah and generic title, God which means mighty one. It is no doubt a bad translation from Yahuwah God, to become a single word, Allah, in Arabic language used in the Quran. I am absolutely certain that anyone, who did not know the original Hebrew name of God, cannot be a true prophet of Yahuwah. Reason number two, Moses was a Hebrew, whom Yahuwah God spoke to him in Hebrew language only and not in Arabic language, which is non-existence at the time of Moses. Quran chapter 14 verse 4 reads, We have never sent a messenger, who did not use his own people's language, to make things clear for them. Unquote Muslim translators have no respect for the Jews or Hebrews, who are the rightful owners and inheritors of the Hebrew scriptures. 
If the Muslim translators are honest to give credit to the Jews who owned the original Hebrew scripture, they should have retained the Hebrew name of Yahuwah in the Quran. For example, Joe Biden is the President of United States of America. Can the Arabic news publishers in Saudi Arabia change the name of Joe Biden to Joseph is the President of United States of America? Strictly speaking the name of God and of persons do not require any translation, but to write them down in the original form. Reason number 3, when Allah did not say, my name is Allah, can Muslims claim the name of their God is Allah? No, Muslim scholars have claimed that Allah is a contraction of Al, meaning the, and Ilah, meaning God. So, strictly speaking, Allah is not the original name given by Allah himself. But the pagan Arabs had used the term Allah, for pagan chief God kept inside the Kaaba shrine. The father of Muhammad was called Abdul Allah bin Abdul al Muttalib, and he was the slave of Allah, named after the pagan chief God. Once the Muslims can come to know the truth, that Allah is not the spoken name given to Muhammad but a bad translation and plagiarism of the Hebrew text, I believe the foundation of Islamic faith will be shaken to pieces. Why Muslims wish to gamble their souls with the story of Hebrew Moses on the name of Yahuwah God, to exchange with the Islamic version of Moses, how he got the name of Allah. Please tell your Muslims friends for the sake, to save their souls from the deception of the devil, by using the bad translation of the first Muslim to mislead later Muslims. You are authorized to download, and share the video clips from this channel to others, and spread the love of Christ to your Muslims friends and acquaintances. Basically this Positron channel is spreading the message of love and truth to others. Please continue to support this channel by subscribing to this channel, and and spend some time to view many private video clips, which are reserved for private viewing. May the love of Lord Jesus Christ abound in you and flow through you to others around you. Shalom.